Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we will consider the operations on signals. Here, the task is to determine to sketch the given signal, which is x of t is equal to minus u of t plus 3 plus 2 times u of t plus 1 minus 2 times u of t minus 1 plus 2 times u of t minus 3. So, the task is to sketch this signal. Before, before we actually considering to sketch this signal, we must understand what a signal u of t is. So, u of t is a step signal. We already know that. So, if I want to sketch how does a u of t looks like. So, let me sketch that first. So, as I said, it is a unit step function. So, it is 0 everywhere as t is less than 0. Once t is greater than 0, its amplitude is 1. And it continues with that value till infinity. So, this is how a unit step function looks like. So, now we have to perform different operations on unit step to get the signal. So, we'll go back. So, first thing is we need to sketch minus u of t plus 3. So, the task is to sketch. So, first I'll sketch minus u of t plus 3. So, first I'll, I'm going to sketch this signal and similarly I'm going to sketch all four signals. Towards the end, I'll add them up. So, that is the best way. So, if I want to understand minus u of t plus 3. So, this signal u of t plus 3. So, the signal has been shifted to the left by minus 3. Later, this minus sign indicates the amplitude has been made negative. So, if I were to sketch this signal u of t plus 3 and later with a negative amplitude. So, this is where the signal starts from initially and with negative amplitude it becomes something like this. So, such a signal I call it as minus u of t plus 3. So, this extends till infinity. So, this is how the signal looks like. So, the next task is to sketch 2 times u of t plus 1. So, to understand this, u of t plus 1 is the signal, u of t step signal has been shifted to the left by minus 1. Later, its amplitude has been scaled by a factor 2. So, if I were to sketch that signal, it looks like, so I said it starts at minus 1 and it gets an amplitude of 2. So, let me sketch that again. So, this is how the signal looks like and it has an amplitude of 2 and it continues with this value till infinity. So, this is how uh, 2 times u of t plus 1 looks like. So, I will just try it. This is with respect to time t. So, next task, the third task is to sketch the signal minus 2 times u of t minus 1. So, I am going to sketch here the signal I said it is minus 2 times u of t minus 1. So, first I should understand u of t minus 1. The step signal has been shifted to the right by 1. Later, its amplitude has been made negative. That is minus 2. So, let me sketch that. So, if I were to sketch u of t minus 1. So, this is where I have to start. Signal has been shifted to the right and its amplitude is been made minus 2 and it continues till infinity. So, I will indicate that with few dotted lines. So, it goes till infinity. So, this is how the signal looks like. So, if I go up and check the fourth signal, it is u of t plus 3. So, let me sketch that at, as the last signal. So, I call this signal as u of t minus 3. So, it is a simple shift performed on unit step signal the signal gets shifted to the right by 3. So, let me sketch that. And if I look at the amplitude, amplitude is 1. So, nothing has been done with respect to the amplitude. So, I am going to sketch u of t minus 3. So, this is how the signal looks like and it goes till infinity. So, again these two signals are with respect to time t. So, I will just, I'll just zoom it out. 
so these are the four different signals we have sketched so now the task is to add them all so finally I'll call this signal as our required answer x of t with respect to time t so first what we do is we'll start from the extreme left so if I look at the first signal this signal starts at minus 3 so this is the extreme left signal so from minus 3 till the point minus 1 this the value is minus 1 I said from minus 3 to minus 1 this is the only signal that exists with an amplitude minus 1 so rest all three signals are 0 so minus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 so I'm going to get minus 1 so that I need to sketch so for for that I'll just I'll just uh, zoom in and I'll, I'm going to sketch that signal here so I said from minus 3 till minus 1 it is going to be with an amplitude minus 1 so now from minus 1 onwards if I go back and check here from minus 1 onwards I'm going to I'm, go, I'm going to get the second signal and with an amplitude plus 1 so if I look at the second signal it has an amplitude of plus 1 so here is the second signal now which starts at minus 1 so at minus 1 the value is plus 1 uh, no it's not plus 1 it is 2 so amplitude is 2 so I'm going to have to perform minus 1 plus 2 which is going to be plus 1 so amplitude becomes plus 1 now so till what point till I get the next signal so if I look where do I get the ne next signal so I get the next signal at the point t equal to 1 so what I do is till 1 till the next point 1 I'm going to get the amplitude as plus 1 so it was at minus 1 so now I have to go up and I have to get the amplitude plus 1 till the point 1 so this is how it looks like at point 1 if I go back and check at point 1 I'm going to get the third signal with an amplitude so this is the third signal this is the third signal which has the amplitude minus 2 so I have to perform plus 1 minus 2 I'm going to get minus 2 till what point till I get the next signal so I get the next signal at 3 so I'll get the value minus 1 till 3 so I have to sketch that so I'm going to get minus 1 till the point 3 at 3 I'm going to get the fourth signal so if I go back and check what is the fourth signal this is the fourth signal with an amplitude plus 1 so if I check here this is the fourth signal from 3 onwards the amplitude is 1 so I have to perform minus 1 plus 1 which is going to be 0 so from 3 onwards I'm going to get 0 so I have to indicate that so I'll do that here from 3 onwards I'm going to get 0 amplitude so this is what I get throughout so this is what the final signal x of t looks like with amplitude plus 1 and minus 1 the signal exists from minus 3 to plus 3 so the task was to sketch the given signal x of t which is sum of four signals so first I have drawn all four different signals lastly I have added them up so this is what finally I get the signal thanks for watching